a warm welcome to the show once again. And you may have noticed that Daring Abroad has gone a notch higher. We are traversing the globe to bring you not only entertaining stories, but stories about impact, stories about the linkage between Kenya and the diaspora. We are looking at cash, knowledge, and skills transfer. And this comes amid growing interest among Kenyans living abroad to invest back home. Today, we are coming to you from Pazuri at Vipingo in Kilifi County, a property of Superior Homes. Welcome to Pazuri. Pazuri is our 105-acre master plan gated community. Shiv Arora, the CEO of Superior Homes, will walk us through this development in comparison with a similar project in Athi River. We have a huge number of diaspora buyers, people from the US, mm -hmm. people from the UK, Netherlands, Singapore, wow. India, uh -huh. China. We will also hear from Wilson Jogu, a Kenyan living in Chicago, USA, on why he is convinced that Pazuri at Vipingo is the place to be. Their workmanship on the buildings that they had done was very, very good. And the rooms of the buildings that they had done were very, very spacious. So down there, I decided, no, I should buy property here. Vipingo has grown to become not only a key tourist destination, but also a key investment destination with Vipingo Airstrip in Vipingo Ridge playing a key role in movement of people. There are two flights operated by Safari Link from Nairobi to this destination every day. On this day, the CEO of Superior Homes, Shiv Arora, and I meet at the airstrip and we begin our five minute drive to Pazuri at Vipingo. I'm eager to know about the homes and why local and international buyers are talking about them. Welcome to Pazuri. Pazuri is our 105 acre master plan gated community mm -hmm. adjacent to Vipingo Ridge. Superior Homes has been developing master plan gated communities for the last 15 years. Mm -hmm. When we saw the demographic trends with the growth of Kilifi County, the expression, the dual carriageway mm -hmm. all the way from Mombasa to Malindi, mm -hmm. people generally moving away into the suburban areas of, of the coastal area, mm -hmm. increased investment by multinational players in the area, and also just a vibrant mm -hmm tourist hospitality scene around yeah. the area and we open, thought it was yeah, like exactly we thought it was a beautiful yeah. Um, yeah. development to be a part of this is our beautiful two-bedroom villa on a very spacious quarter acre plot mm. big garden yeah, I can see. especially for outdoor um, you know sitting enjoying the weather enjoying the coastal look and feel yeah. coastal look and feel and the design as well yeah. huge parking uh, for your cars a nice rock garden, really beautiful landscaping. Really beautiful. Yeah. And that's really the key of the whole development. Mm. Every single unit has huge garden space, outdoor mm. sitting area, beautiful landscaping, dedicated yeah. parking, a nice coastal design, design which is yes, yeah. modern, yet modern yet in line with, with the coastal look and, look mm -hmm. and feel of mm -hmm. the place. So really beautiful entrance features mm -hmm. within the development. You can do some landscaping, really make the place as inviting and as personal as you want for anyone that you're welcoming. This is our two bedroom nice. unit and, yeah. and villa for mm. our investors, homeowners, those who wish to make this I like the colors. their the holiday colors. home. Thank you. Uh, mm. We spend a lot of time making sure that our, our units are well designed, pleasant, mm. in line with the coastal look and feel, beautiful furniture. Mm -hmm. Really just making it as inviting I as, can see. I can as we see possibly this, this can. Is not yeah. My <laughs> no, yeah. And we have a really great team that spends mm. a lot of time just thinking about the finer details of each and every unit. Uh -huh. What's the layout of the furniture? How will the, wow. how will the kitchen look? Yes. And it's open air. It's, yeah. it's all open plan. Really trying to make it as spacious as possible. Mm. When you think about a home in, mm. in the coastal area, yeah. You really think about sharing moments together, mm. being able to spend time with your friends, being able to spend time with your family, mm. and common areas, lounges, 
become the focal yes, point for those who want to, to meet. True, yes. So really nice kitchen, open air with beautiful joinery, a very spacious uh, sitting and dining room. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, you know, with two bedrooms on the side, it becomes a really, really beautiful meeting place mm -hmm. um, yeah, as well. It, it, yeah, you've made it like there's a central place at the end of the day. You know, exactly. Bedrooms on the side then. Exactly. Central, yes. Yeah, yeah. And, and people can come here and, and spend and enjoy the weather. Welcome to one of our very spacious bedrooms yeah. in the in the two-bedroom bungalow. Bedroom? Yeah, so really in the two-bedroom bungalow, all the units oh, are, they're, they're the are, are master okay. bedrooms. Okay. A lot of space. Again, you have a full-size four-poster bed, mm -hmm. space for some seating, mm -hmm. your cupboard areas, a lot of light, natural light. One of the most unique features of, of the bedroom is these large sliding doors. Wow. You get a view of the Sisal, you get a view of the Indian Ocean. Mm -hmm. You get fresh air yeah. coming I mean, into the unit. Yeah. You can come outside, yeah, seat, spend time in the outdoor garden, yeah. Yeah. really sit, mm -hmm. enjoy yourself. Enjoy and, yourself. And, and it really makes mm -hmm. the house mm -hmm. very, very airy, very open, mm -hmm. very accessible, small families. Mm -hmm. You're coming here with friends. Yeah. Everyone has their own privacy mm -hmm. and everyone has their own access. Yes, yes and gives you a holiday feel. Exactly. Yeah. This is uh, good if you want to put on your shoes. Yeah, and just have an area to sit down, you know, an area to, to change or place something if you're here for just a little short stay. Mm -hmm. And that to us is key, you know, being able to provide yeah. clients with, with really what they want. Okay. Yeah. And uh, of course, uh, I mean, you can work from here. You can work from here, you yeah. can sit, have yeah, a cup of tea and coffee. Yeah. Mm. You know, it's, mm. it, it becomes a little space within your room that you can, mm. you can spend time in. Every single unit that you buy, whether it's a two bedroom, one of our three bedroom mm. options, the four bedroom, every place has spacious bathrooms. Mm. Well finished louver doors, granite worktops, Top quality sanitary wear, mm. huge mirrors, a large shower. Mm -hmm. It's such an attractive feature that a lot of developers often overlook, mm -hmm. but it's such a personal space. Each unit sits on a quarter acre, mm -hmm. and it's really part of our goal to give people space inside yeah. and outside. Uh -huh. And units should flow, you know, huge garden spaces, nice entertainment areas. Mm -hmm and a spacious unit. Kids can play around here. <laughs> and exactly. And when you do a master planned yeah. community, mm -hmm. having a place where your kids can safely play, you can't place a value on, it's true. on that. Many people are looking for that. Exactly. Yeah. People want security. People want a yeah. place where their kids can mm -hmm. comfortably play, where they can interact with others in a safe manner, mm -hmm. where they have nice open garden spaces so that they spend more and more time outside. Mm -hmm. Again, a key feature of gated communities, we have a strong deed of covenants here. You can't come in and start building, building walls. The unit has to look beautiful, and more importantly, your house has to feel like it's part of the entire community. You have to maintain your landscaping. You have to ensure that your unit looks presentable at all points in time. This is a red clay tile. And yeah. when it rains, it doesn't. No. <laughs> Great. I like this. This is yeah. what we're saying is our, our roof terrace. Mm -hmm. What you have... You have a party here. You can, you can, yeah, yeah, you can build a gazebo, you can build a bar. Mm -hmm. It's actually the size of the unit down, downstairs. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But more importantly, you know, there's nice benches for you to sit. You get the air here. You get a view of the Sisal, you get a full view of, panoramic view of the Indian Ocean. This is one of the most unique features in every unit that we offer you at Pazuri. It's this whole entertainment area on the roof. It's there in the two beds, the three beds, the four beds. The space that you have Mm -hmm. down, in, down same, you have up, space you have up. up yeah. come and watch the sunrise in the morning, in the morning and, the and sunset, sunset in the evening. evening 
We actually have an open day the weekend of the 11th and 12th of December and every day our site is, uh -huh. is open but specific open day for those who want to take some time plan their affairs and make some time to come and view the property come over the 11th and 12th of December see what we have to offer Remember, Vipingo is growing as one of the destinations of remittances from Kenyans living abroad, not forget local investors. Wilson Jogu, who is in tracking business in Chicago, USA, is among the diaspora clans who are convinced that Pazuri at Vipingo is the place to be. Their workmanship on the buildings that they are done was very, very good. And the rooms of the buildings that they are done were very, very spacious. So down there, I decided, no, I should buy property here. Are you buying a finished um, home there or you are one of the clans who are taking a piece of land then construct? I'm one of the guys who are taking a piece of land and constructing. I went through the buildings that have already been done and they, they look very, very nice and everything. And uh, they had an architect on site and engineer on site. But uh, the kind of person I am and uh, having been you know, trained in that area of building, I would want something that I specifically, that I want to do myself, that stayed unto my needs. So I decided to buy an empty land that uh, I would do the construction. So at what stage are you uh, in that project? After, you know, like when I went through the projects, you know, like uh, the, those plots and the area and how beautiful the area is, I decided to buy actually not one, not two, but three of them. So far, what we have done is... Uh, we are in the process of paying. We've already made some payments. I think we're on the third payment right now. Because the terms were like, you know, we put down some payments and then the rest of the, uh, the, rest of the balance we pay within one year. So right now we are on the third stage of paying. Njogu says he will dedicate one of the units as a family home and will decide later what to do with the other units. He says the location is ideal and gives value to the homes. Right between uh, where we are, exactly where we are and uh, where we think great buildings are, these are like, I think, uh, what you call uh, wildlife conservancy. According to the superior home people, we can access the Pingo Lynch facilities, like the clubhouse and stuff like that. And uh, we can also access that animal conservancy. The airport is a walking distance from where we are. It's I'll say about uh, 10 minutes. And uh, actually, uh, you can fly out of there from, I think, Safari Ring flies to Vipingo. We were also uh, promised that um, we will have access to a private beach by Vipingo Ridge. So once you get the membership of Vipingo Ridge, you can also access the private beach. So all the facilities that we need are within a walking distance. Interesting. And on that note, allow us to take a short break. We will be back in a moment. The real estate is one of the top beneficiaries of remittances. Remember, despite the COVID-19 pandemic, Kenyans living abroad sent home more cash in 2020 than ever before, surpassing the 300 billion shillings mark, and developers are keen to win their confidence. The CEO of Superior Homes says diaspora buyers are getting smarter. Your due diligence on track record. Is this person delivering and have they been delivering? And are there other people in the diaspora and even my family back home in Kenya who can go and verify that, yeah, yes, yes. Uh -huh. these guys have delivered. And that unit that I'm buying, mm. it exists. Mm -hmm. There's nothing like touching something uh -huh. and saying that it's yeah. here today. We have a huge number of diaspora buyers, people from the US, mm -hmm. people from the UK, Netherlands, Singapore, wow. India, uh -huh. China. Superior Homes rides on its background with over 15 years experience in developing master plant gated communities, for example, Green Park in Athi River. So Green Park is Superior Homes' most well-known master plan gated community. 
again started 15 years ago and we have been continuously delivering houses there. I'm proud to say that we've now developed over 150 acres of homes. We have 550 houses which are sold and occupied mm -hmm. in five different clusters with over 2,000 people that call Green Park Estate their home. Are you saying all have been occupied? Yeah, everything that has been sold is now occupied. It's actually beautiful to drive through the development and see mm -hmm children playing, families that have been growing there over the last 15 years, some who have moved in maybe a year ago into some of our newer clusters, mm -hmm. those who have been part of the community. Green Park is unique in that it's what I would call Kenya's or East Africa's only completed mm -hmm. residential master plan gated community. Over 2,000 people settled in Green Park this is a whole city in itself. And not only that, yeah. it's got homes. Everyone has garden space. Your kids can play. Every cluster mm -hmm. has dedicated play areas. There's swimming pools, clubhouse. There's a retail facility. There's two schools within the estate. There's full security. You never have any security issues within the estate. All the roads are cabro. Every common area is mm -hmm. landscaped. There is a management company which takes care of day to day. There is water from both municipal, county and also from the borehole. There's, you know, permanent uh, power connection throughout. There's backup for those who need it. So it's really creating a community. And more importantly, sometimes people just want small things done mm -hmm. well. Mm -hmm. Is your garbage collected yes, eh? twice a week? Service Do you get garbage. regular mm -hmm. water? When you pay for your service charge, is it well accounted for? You know, do you have any questions? Is there a governance structure? Is there a management company? Do shareholders who are residents have representation? Has everyone received a registered lease, which is your form of title mm -hmm. in the market? And that's what Superior Homes gives, which is why if you look at Green Park, it's probably the most culturally and nationality diverse community development in Kenya. It's because people have that sense of security, that sense of knowing that the developer is going to do right and stick by them. Kenyans in the diaspora too are keen on the ongoing infrastructure developments back home and how they are impacting on the real estate. The Nairobi Expressway, for example, is already an iconic project and its impact is expected to be felt even in far away places like Athi River. Whenever infrastructure comes up around an area, it's not only roads, water, power, mm. sewer, sanitation, your public services and amenities, and then roads, it impacts and increases the value of a development. Mm. If you look at Athi River, people used to think that it's far away. Once the expressway is completed, from Athi River to Nairobi CBD and Westerns will be a 25 to 30 minute car ride. Mm -hmm. And you can live 25 to 30 minutes away, which yeah. you would otherwise, in Nairobi, 25 to 30 minutes away is, is yeah. actually nothing far. Yeah. But you have a much bigger house, you have your own space, you have your own privacy. So why not? Let's shift our attention again to Pazuri at Vipingo and this is the status of the project that sits on a 105 acre master plan. We'll do a total of around 370 uh, units. We are a developer that's always here for the long term and building out based on a lot of demand in the economy. From the 20 units uh, that we have now completed and sold, majority of them, actually I think about 70% of them, are sold and occupied. We have a few units that clients are completing their payments before we give them occupation. We have seen a bit of a change. There are those who like the completed units and then there are those who say within phase one, I like this plot and I like one of your five house designs because we have five house designs. Describe your payment plans here for each of the units. Are they the same? Each time you reach out to us, um, you pay a booking fee to select your unit and you'll get a letter of offer. Mm -hmm. From there, you'll select your unit and we'll move into a sale agreement. But your letter of offer will capture your payment terms. Your booking fee is 100,000. So a two bedroom like this will cost you 12.98. And 
the booking fee then gets deducted from there. You then pay a 10% deposit and sign the sale agreement. And usually in most cases, the balance is payable within 90 to 120 days. If you're buying a unit off plan, you can pay over your construction period uh -huh. as well. So the three bedroom payment plan is the same. But For the three bedroom bungalow, 16.98, mm -hmm. and the maisonettes are 18.98 million each. Mm -hmm. They're much more different uh, design. And then the four bedrooms are 20.98. Yes. So anywhere between three to six months. Three to six months. Yeah. There are those clients who say, I want this unit and I want a flexible payment plan over say mm. six months or nine months. If the unit has not yet started and we're gonna be building it mm. for you, then we'll work with you okay. on those timelines. Uh -huh. For the Chicago-based Wilson Jogu, who has invested here at Pazuri Vipingo, the real estate is the best bet for Kenyans abroad, as long as one ventures through a trusted developer. That is something that has never, never escaped my mind. From the day I, I came to the U.S., I've always been looking into, you know, venturing back home. Uh, actually, as a matter of fact, I, I go back home every year. And sometimes I'm lucky to go home for about two to three months. And uh, whenever I go back there, I'm trying to do a few, you know, like a few investments here and there. For the last, uh, I would say about 10 years, I've been doing some. Of course, the easiest thing to do is real, real estate. When you are far away, it's hard to do business when you're not, you know, there. So I decided to venture into real estate. And uh, uh, we have done quite uh, a few projects. Interesting to see Kenyans living abroad investing back home. And we at Champs Media will keep tabs on the linkage or call it interaction between Kenya and the diaspora. Always a pleasure having your company and keep it daring abroad. Until we meet again next week, many thanks for watching and bye-bye from Pazuri at Vipingo in Kilifi County.